Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Starfield. We are here in Madame Subaj's place. We've got a, uh, like, a, the audition, I think, side mission that we were working on that we're going to wrap up in this one. Once we do that, I might sidestep this this quest line and move back towards uh, Aquila City because I want to do some stuff with the Free Star Rangers. So I thought once you got the Star Eagle ship, things were done, but they're technically not. The storyline stuff sort of seems like it's done, but there is a little more to do with, like, bounty boards. And I want to get some bounties, get some good loot, make some money. I also heard of an interesting exploit that I'm curious about um, on that city planet as well, or that planet slash city. And I want to look at doing the legendary bounties because I know there's some really good opportunities there, and we'll talk more about that once we get closer to it. Um, here with me on occasion, and presently now, is Michael, who's been uh, really helpful in providing me some new information. Michael just completed the game and is on New Game Plus. Michael, I'm going to try not to ask you a lot about that. All good. I'm having fun, and uh, I will answer and probably not answer some of your questions. And I do appreciate that, because no one has spoiled anything for me, and the internet has been mostly respectful, minus a couple of little spoilery things. It's hard to avoid everything on the internet, but I've, I've, I've done a pretty good job of not having things ruined for myself. Nonetheless, though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep most of my curious questions to myself, because I don't want to be tempted by uh, opening the floodgates and spoilers. I have my own thoughts and theories on like what it is that is going to happen, um, but I just don't know if I'm at a point yet where I'm ready to talk about it yet, but we'll see. Um, let's move on with this little side mission here and then see what's going on. I think we... Let's see. What is this right now? Are we still Are we still in audition? Yeah. Do we... Let me see if I spoke to this There's guy. There's no shame if you just <laughs> walk away and go back to your audition. pretty little life. Uh, whatever. I take it. Okay, yeah, we, I think so this dialogue we saw before. Stealth was a no-go, but... <laughs> shit. You took all of them out. The Strikers can use that. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Okay, I didn't actually read that slate. This dialogue we heard before, this must have loaded an autosave that we had, but I think we wrapped the last episode up um, where he had set this stuff up. Let's see. Uh, okay. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Okay, cool. So we got money, we got the striker mask wearer. I, we've already looked at this, but I am going to put this on um, real quick. Yeah, I still have that stuff. Okay, so it, yeah, I definitely did a, an auto save. Um, striker mask wearer. The striker mask wearer is not terrible. It's a bit leaning into cyberpunk-esque. I don't like the hood that much, but it's not bad. I don't know. I just, I still have my concerns with a lot of the... A lot of the gear in this game, I, I don't know I'm kind of disappointed in some of the things. I just feel like I just feel like there's such a limit in customization. I don't like the the idea that there's just suits. Like it kind of makes sense. You'd like to try a velocity. Where like I wonder a display of power. I'm wondering if I can let me see if I can change this real fast. Faction back to the grind. Rook me see. So these are free star ranger ones. I don't think there's any way for me to okay. I'll have to worry about this after the fact. Can I... What do I have selected now? We're going to go ahead and uncheck that. So we're going to free roam. Okay, there we go. Like, I just wish that it was closer to Skyrim or Destiny where you can, like, have different boots, chest, arms, and helmet. You know? I like that that aspect of things, but the game doesn't give you that. It's like a it's suit and helmet, and that's it. Or just, like, a complete outfit. And the game is still new where I feel like there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been discovered. A lot of bits of things haven't been found. But like, I do feel like, let's see, Neon, ship. I can't fast travel or in the position of, uh, possession of Aurora. Son de la bitch. Um, all right, that's interesting. I gotta figure out how to get to my ship while jacking these, or keeping the Aurora. Okay, I'm gonna try something. That didn't work at all. I hit the wrong button. I can make that, I think. Nope, I can't make that. This is gonna hurt. Oh shit, I'm falling in the water to my death. No, we're good. There's sharks in this water, and I don't know if they hurt you. 
I know I can shoot them, but the fact that there are sharks here terrifies me. All right, there we go. I'm out. We're safe. Okay. Going back up. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to get through this part. Um, the ship should be... I know there's a way to jump over and get to my ship. I just got to find it. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Is that going to kick off? It did. It kicked off the quest. Okay. Shift Burger one. What is this? Oh, yes. Oh, did it activate that quest just randomly? Yeah, it did because I was here. That's odd. Hello. Okay, let me see how I can try to leave. I'm trying to see if I can leave the city with Aurora, but I don't know exactly where my ship is. I think it might be the other side. Yes, okay, I can leave if I jump. Yeah, I should be able to jump over that. Yeah, we can make this. I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for avoiding this scan. This is how the mantis operates, bitch. We got it. Excellent. Oh, thank God for the mantling ability, seriously. That's so useful. Okay, there we go. Nice. Jumped over it all and was able to get away with it. Okay. Do I have anything that I want to sell? Oh, I do. I have some things that I can sell. Um, let's scroll through here. Michael, there's so many questions that I want to ask you about New Game Plus, but I also am just... I refuse to ask it. I just don't want to go there right now. But just know I'm like I'm I'm aching to ask. I'll just say I've never been so excited to immediately restart a game and play through it again. I hate that that app, that pushes me to want to know more. <laughs> Interesting. So there's a weapon here that I have a modified advanced mag shot, and it does 189 damage per shot. But it's a common one in white rarity at value 3,769. It's not very much, but I don't know why that. Interesting. I'm so curious about that. I've also realized that because I want to play so dark and dirty, like in the like the way that I want to do things in the game, I might not want to carry around or have a, a partner with me the whole time anymore because I just feel like they're gonna judge me for all the shit that I want to do illegally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reevaluate whether or not I want them. They're gonna be helpful in the sense that. They can carry stuff for me, but like, I just don't know. I don't know. They're just annoying. They're always in the way. I'm also really torn, Michael, and I need your opinion. So I have a repulsing deep recon skip pack. It is a legendary yellow rarity skip pack, but it's very ugly. But this is what it does. Grants up to 100 plus energy resistance and physical resistance to lower your health. Fastened perk, plus 20 carry capacity. Repulsing, 5% chance to disarm nearby attacker, attackers. I've actually noticed that. I didn't know this was doing that. And it's a skip capacity bo uh, boost pack. Then there's the Incendiary Mantis pack, which is five times more valuable, still a legendary. O2 boosted, 20% auction capacity, 20% airborne resistance, 10% chance to igni ignite nearby attackers, and a basic boost pack. I like the 10% chance to ignite. The fact that it's not a skip... That has me curious because I'm not sure I fully understand the definition of a, of a skip pack yet. Like, what is the difference between skip and basic? I, I don't know for 
sure, but I think skips use less fuel when they do their boosting. And that makes sense. Like shorter bursts. Got it. Yeah, I feel like there's something to that. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't actually. You know what? The settler poncho outfit is not bad. It's very. It reminds. It's very Star Warsy. But I like looking sharp. I don't know. Settler poncho. It, it yeah. It just reminds me of Luke Skywalker. I don't hate it, really. I was gonna toss it, but now I kind of like it. Um, okay. So the modified advanced mag shot. Fire rate is at 25. And this is at 104, so that makes sense why it does so much damage, but has probably a very low... Holy shit, that shoots cool. Let's see how fast it shoots overall. That's not bad. Okay, we're going to play with this gun before I sell it, because I don't know if I like it or dislike it yet, but anyway, we got Aurora. I am going to head to the pit of the cock. And we are going to go ahead and fly off to the den, and I'm going to sell Aurora. I do need an outpost, though, because I really I need to look into that soon, because I want to store my illegal drugs. I feel like I'm missing out a lot. All right, and then I need to go to Aquila City, and I don't even remember where that's at, so we'll worry about that soon. Arian. Michael, what, what system is or planet is, is uh, Aquila City on? Like, how would I... If I don't know that off the top of my head, how do I find that out the only thing i can think of is that help menu maybe might know interesting I'm, I'm going to check right now to see if it just happens to me i can't fast travel while i have aurora on so i can't that's so annoying dude i'm just gonna take them all and get high if that's the case in possession of aurora it sucks that you can't just like throw it on the floor and bypass that system but I'm gonna go ahead and just take this shit right now. Stolen Aurora. Oh, you can't, damn it. Ah. Uh, damn it all. All right. So what I could tell you from how I used to figure it out, because I know which one it's in, just offhand. Okay. When you're looking at the whole star map, there's a couple of systems and they have like this little like, uh, looks almost like a triangle with a circle in it. That sounds weird. But like, they little icons over each other. I don't know exactly what those icons mean, but I noticed that the ones that have like landing pads and stuff yeah. have that icon over them. And so, since Akila would have one of those, I that's how I found it, if that makes sense. Okay, what planet was it on? You want me to just tell you? Yeah. It's in the Cheyenne system, and it's called Aquila. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Cheyenne. I remember that. But if you if you look at Cheyenne, Cheyenne should have that little like icon over it. I'm still learning the menus, dude. I've so many hours into this, and I still don't. Maintain your current course while we scan for contact. Still over things yet. Yeah. Uh, that, that. All right, you're good. Keep in Welcome mind. to Aquila City. I do have 75 hours now. That's crazy, dude. Okay, Aquila City. See, Mayor Cartwright about a job. There's a interesting, so it's letting me know about missions that are present here right now. Curious. There's also an NVIDIA update, um, a driver update right now. I guess it's supposed to help out with performance, and they're working on DLSS right now, too. Okay, also, did you hear about the puddle exploit? Oh, what? Okay. So I shared this in the Starfield channel if you want to see it, but basically on Aquila City, there is a puddle outside a building that if you look into the puddle, yeah, it's outside Shepherds. I'm going to see if it works. So many stories about Aquila. There's a puddle out here outside of Shepherds, and if you look at the puddle and you find the right spot, it has the entire inventory of that building in it and you can take all the stuff directly from the building from this puddle. I'm trying to find this spot. The city walls after Ashton, I'm I don't know how they found this. Someone must have been accidentally walking on the ground and noticed it, but apparently Shepherds, there's a puddle somewhere outside. There's two puddles that I see here. Yep, found it. Yep, the puddle, it works. 
so there's a there's a puddle here and you have to find this the spot like it's a tiny little fragment there fields of everglass charity wow there's a lot of stuff here uh emerson shepherd weapons and somehow you can take everything and nothing is is stealing at all so i'm gonna steal all that thank you for all of your stuff i don't really even know what this is exactly ammo oh my god hell yeah take all your ammo bitch notes charity in a godless universe fields of everglass shadows in the attic i don't really know anything useful for that i'm gonna take all the the resources oh my god this sucks for you dude i just robbed your whole place somehow i'm fine with it and how many pounds did that put on me holy that put me from uh, my max, which was at 240, to 1,294 over. <laughs> so good. Truly fantastic. I know that this was, like, totally a jip, but it's even better knowing that, like, oh, wow, my jump, I... Yeah, this is going to suck. It, wow. I'm so over my storage capacity that I can only walk as slow as humanly possible because it instantly fills up my meter. I wonder how much damage I'll take from this. Oh my God, it's bringing my health down so fast. Yep, I'm dead, I'm almost dead because <laughs> of how much this was. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, I'm going at a decent pace now. I just got to throw off the resources. I'm going to put it on the ship. That's so funny, dude. I can't believe someone found this. It had to have been, oh, I'm just looking on the ground and then I found this puddle thing. It's the only thing, the only freaking thing I can think of why they found this. But I'm not, I don't feel guilty for, um, for taking advantage of it. It's a, it's a Bethesda game. You're gonna find shit like this all the time. <laughs> ah, so funny. I love it. Resources stored. All right, there we go. Okay, now going at a run, it's still pretty quick, but walking isn't as bad. Actually, there should be a... Where is... That's right, it's over here. I should be able to... Michael, can you wait? 24 hours like without getting in trouble and um reset like inventories and stuff yeah you have to sit in a chair to wait or sleep in a bit but uh, it, it generally works i do that outside of uh jemison mercantile all the time. damn it i don't see a chair anywhere can i get this idiot to get off this chair shop for you is it the general shop yeah well the yeah the one right by the um the landing spot there's a couple of different spots that i can sell stuff to though i don't really need to do it that way i can sell it back to the guy who i stole it from i don't i didn't even know what shepherds was like i just saw shepherds on a post and i was like oh, i'm gonna steal everything from here but i don't know what it is i'm assuming it's a general store equivalent but i don't know yeah it's his general store i see okay Dude, you're broke as hell. I want to do your business quick. The Rangers plan on dropping by for an order soon. Emerson. I'll say right up front. Feel free to look. All right, cool. He's got 5,779. I kind of wish. Oh, weird, dude. So I stole everything from his inventory, but now when I go in here, he still like he still has everything. So it created a duplicate somehow? That's very curious. Old Earth Hunting Rifle, one of the best. Scouts Lawgiver, Scouts Regulator. Suppressed Maelstrom, UC Naval Cutlass.
buy now. Let's see what do we have? Huh. It's so funny. I am curious. Is that does that puddle change? I'm wondering how often this puddle resets. Oh my god. Let's see. Yep. Resets as well. Um instantly getting all the Oh my god, that's so great. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Oh my god, shut up, Sarah. In here. Here. Browse. That's fantastic. Okay. So, vendor. Oh, he doesn't have any items to... Take a look around. To buy Hope somehow. Your pay goes better than mine. Thank God. Okay, so I'm going to wait now. It's a pretty good exploit. I'm going to wait for 24 hours in this chair. That should reset his money. And then I should be able to sell everything again. He only has between like five and six thousand dollars, so it's not a lot, but it is a thing. Halfway done. Come on. I specifically came here to do these bounties. But like now I'm taking advantage of old Shepard. Sorry dude, you shouldn't store your stuff in a puddle out front. It's not my fault. <laughs> the fact that you can like, it, they're somehow linked. I don't know even how you would program it that way. Somehow the puddle is a bridge specifically into his inventory and it lets me take it all without stealing. Suppose that's a good thing. I get all kind. How about I just show Now he's still broke. He's got no items. How did I I don't know how this happened. I wonder if the puddle resets. They have to patch this, so I don't think that's something they should keep. This is one of those bug things they just have to get rid of. There's no way it's still here, though. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Alright, so I wonder, did it give me weapons and resources? Holy shit, it gave me so many weapons. But yeah, waiting for, for that long did not reset his money or anything. That's super strange. There has to be someone else. There's a vendor here. I think, what is this? Oh, it's Aquila City Information. Buildings of Note, Free Star Rangers. All right, this is gonna suck now. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage from just walking. City's really the heart of the Free Star Clan. Let's see if I can sell the weapons to this kiosk. No, it's still it's not resetting, Michael. How come it's not resetting? I thought it resets every 24 hours. Does it not do that? It might be, it might be 48 hours, but it's like, if I remember correctly, it's 24 universal time hours, if that makes sense. What does that mean? So there's, there's, there's planet time, and there's universal time for the universe. Damn. And they're not, they're not the same. Um, 
it's his inventory that's not resetting? Uh, well, the kiosks, like, money isn't resetting either, so it's like his inventory didn't reset and his money didn't reset. But I think now I have to organize my ship and get rid of the stuff on the ship that takes up too much space. That's very strange because I it is. Have, I mean, I've definitely Present done it to see you. No, I've done it too, so I don't know. And I saw, like, the, the... Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll figure this shit out. I just don't know why I did it. Okay. Should be a captain's quarters around here. It's the cockpit. Oh, weird. The guy that I hired... Two, the two guys that I hired are sleeping in the... In the locked rooms or whatever like the the jails or whatever the holding cells there's a bunk here but it doesn't let me do it doesn't let me sleep on the top one that's tch, immersion broken damn it 24 hours is a bitch well, hold on. No, I should have... Yeah, I should still have the captain's quarters, wherever that is. I don't remember how to get there, though. I still have that. I didn't get rid of the captain's quarters. Where is this area? So that's Aquila City. Yeah, why am I not finding this? Oh, here we go. Okay, sleep it off. Then we gotta organize this trash. Wait, 22 universal time? That's why. Oh, maybe that's the time. I don't know. Not sure why. Maybe that was not. Up and get going. We'll figure this out now. Okay, so we're gonna go into our inventory. The resources. Yeah, we're at 2,279 weight. So we are gonna go ahead and value unique, exotic. Oh, a unique item. Exotic, 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 exotic. Coffee bag. Rare, 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 exotic. Uncommon. Let's see. Weight, name, value, weight. What is the most heavy thing that I have? Drilling rigs. that cleared up a little bit.
interesting. Dumbbells. Get rid of dumbbells. So many Hope Tech trophies. So good. Spyglass that I actually wanted to keep. Shit. Have you found more colors of the My Friend Will Be? Because I have a brown, a blue, and a green one. these markers and notepads coming from is it possible that people on this shit on my crew are like stocking it up with stuff like this because i feel like it it shows up periodically and somehow randomly the star eagle had 2200 credits on it that i just took what in the hell is happening here Let's see.
There's so much stuff to get rid of. I don't understand like their rarity system either because like some of them are exotic with no icon next to it some of them are unique but they have the exotic icon like some of them it doesn't make sense like they have a i think there's like these items are like kind of bugged i feel like i just tossed weed apparently i had weed on my ship So I got rid of the resources. I probably... I'm going to tell her to shut up. Sarah, can you just, like, leave me alone for a little bit? I'm listening. Um, let's see. Trade gear. Tell me about Barrett. What's the eye? What should I do first? Do you have anything? Do you mind if I... If I say we part ways, does she... Or if we go our separate ways, does she stay on the ship? Or no? Um, uh, if you unassign her from the ship... She'll leave it next time. I think you're in town. I don't want her to leave the ship. I just don't want her to be my partner right now. Oh, you can tell her go separate ways, and she'll go back to her assigned post, if that makes sense. Okay, that's what so I want. If you have her posted to the ship as crew, she'll go there. Okay. Let's see how this works exactly. All right, so if I go to Star Eagle and then uh, Crew, Energy Weapon Specialist, Particle Weapon Specialist, Samco. So Sarah Morgan is assigned to the ship. So if I just say separate ways, she'll just stay on the ship. Gotcha. Yeah, what is it? Whatever you think is best. Okay, no longer the active companion. Thank Captain God. Captain Mark, do you require my assistance? All right, cool. The authority kiosk is ready for me. Uh, four and thirty-two. Eon Rattler, Side Star, Calibrated Solstice. Don't care. Don't care. Coachman. Coachman. Combat Knight. Cutter, Eon, Equinox, Kodama, I still want to play around with that. Arc Welder, Eon. Modified Old Earth, Hunting Rifle. Armor Piercing Rounds. That might be interesting to play with. I wonder if this puddle is now filled back up. I'm dying to know if that's how it works. If that's how it works, dude. Like, there's a, it's a very quick way to get rich. I've got other things I want to do in this episode, but so far, taking advantage of this puddle exploit is freaking fantastic. Seems shitty, but like, I don't care. Uh, no, he didn't re restock his stuff, it looks like. Everything I'll say right up front. Well, he did get his money though, so that's fine. Oh, you go to buy, though, and he still has everything in here. Wow, I'm broke. He has all my money now. So if I go to buy, uh, or sell, rather. Modified tombstone, pacifier. So some of these are new. Razorback, Rescue Axe, Ripshank, Ripshank, Scouts Lawgiver, Scouts, that's interesting, Scouts XM2311, Shoddy, so he has new stuff that appeared in here somehow, Urban Eagle, 
Very interesting indeed. Blue collar off work hat, blue labor jumpsuit, farming hat, gray leather jumpsuit, minor jacketed jumpsuit. I don't hate the look of that, but minor utility outfit. That's not terrible. Padded hat, settler casual wear, no thanks. Poncho, I'm gonna get rid of that. Vested outfit, trucker, trucker, trucker. Teal engineering, teal leather jumpsuit. So does he, I want to know if that puddle thing. Yes. There we go. Now I can get my money back. I'm okay. Do your business quick. I'm not going to make a habit of doing this too much, but I do like that I can do it. So, so he has new stock every time I do that. Calibrated coachman, caliber yeah, like. Oh, and it let me take his money, dude. Like, I took his money directly from that puddle. So I sold everything. Dude. I'm about to make a million dollars. I'm not going to do that completely, though. I am going to find a place to sit and reset this, though. That's fantastic. So you can just directly tap into his inventory and his wallet. That's amazing. I mean, sucks for him, but, you know. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so 24 hours local is 28 universal hours. I don't know how time works. Things don't make any sense to me. This world's very confusing, Michael. I don't understand anything. You can just take the money. You can buy all of his his ammo and then go to the puddle and take all the money that he gets out of you. That's amazing. I have no problem with people who like to play this way. Don't get me wrong. Take a look around. It's a good bet. I've got something. You need. But I do think ammo being as expensive as it is is ridiculous. Here. Here. still has nothing to buy so i don't know why that's like that though because i slept for a couple hours and then he reset it so i'm wondering if maybe it's because the time of day perhaps it's still night so 23 so i'm gonna set it for 10 so that means so it's it's going off of military time so it should be 1 a.m or 1 30 2 30 3 4 Five. Got it. Seven, eight. I'm wondering if it's 24 plus like a, a like a reset in, of the day or something. I don't know. It's a little weird. Everyone, take a look around. How about I just? Sh He's still broke. Does sleeping have anything to do with it? Do you do anything? Oh, you're just a citizen. Self-service bounty board. Well, this is what I wanted to do anyway. Oh, oh wait, no, it's, that's a bounty board for, for me to clear my bounties. Damn it. I gotta go back to my ship and maybe sleep. I don't, 
confused as hell about all this, but... What is my overall weight? Holy shit. It's because of the mi the resources, I think. Yeah. Damn, son. I'm wondering... You know what? I might just toss all the resources in that... In his thing, yeah. Transfer... Inventory. I'm gonna put all his resources back because that stuff is really taking up my space. Okay, miscellaneous bar spoon, blender lid, canteen. Yeah, he's got a lot of junk. I'm keeping that. <laughs> yeah, he seems to somehow get different stuff. Oh, nightwear, so I can run around in pajamas if I want. I see the trucker stuff, Michael, I immediately think of you. You know what's weird? The engineering stuff that they have with the shoulders exposed is really weird. There's just something odd about that. Yeah, I agree. I've seen some of them and I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't wear that in a million years. Yeah, I just don't, I don't understand it. That being said, had I made a female character instead... Yeah, that would make sense to me as well. Dude, I still have, like, so much on me. Helmets. He's lucky I'm just giving him his stuff back. though here too I might as well just modified razorback I will keep that I like how they call him shoddy. That's kind of funny. A suppressed Kodama. So that's a new weapon. Where is my... Oh, I still have... This is the hard part. Somehow I did a thing and I took... I have like 18 ship parts from him. Dude, his... Like, that exploit just makes things that are such a pain in the ass to get very easy to obtain. It's rest call as well. I kind of want to deal with that too. And nothing to buy here. I'm wondering now if I should change corp weld. Where does it make sense? Minor jacketed jumpsuit. Should be able to store that on here now. Inventory. Where is all my weight coming from? Ramen multi packs. Okay, let's find out what's going on here.
it's the spacesuits. I didn't realize I had all those. How do you unfavorite stuff? Doesn't seem to want to let me. That's what I notice is very weird. Captain Mark. Hello. Okay, we're gonna get on with this. But this is like one long one long thing. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just make it an exploit video and then I'll worry about it later. Because that's like I can't believe it's been an hour of me tinkering with this. The inventory system is just such a is such a big thing. So much time goes into it. I always forget this spot. Oh, it's over here, that's right. Always a pleasure, Captain. What can I help you with? Ready for action, Captain. Yeah, it's just weird. There seems to be like a lot of stuff that gets like just added to the to the ship periodically somehow. Like the game is just like giving me stuff. I don't know. Oh, captain's locker. I have nothing in here for some reason. Shit. I just got rid of everything that I really cared about. Damn it. Well, it's life, I guess. not right I feel like I wonder hmm. oh it added I see Okay, so it got shut. I see. It's weird. I don't know why that happened, though. Somehow, like, a bunch of my stuff got sent to my ship. And I don't really know how it, like, it took it out of the captain's locker. I must have toggled something by mistake. I don't know, though. That's weird.
Okay, now that I slept, let's see if we can sell these weapons, and then from there, I want to get those bounties. Still didn't do it. Don't know why. Got a freighter coming. No Just gonna stuff it all back in here, really. Oh, let's see. At his. I want it. I'll say right up front that if. Here. Nope, he didn't. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna give him his stuff back and worry about it later. I got what I needed. Interesting stuff. still wondering like what is taking up so much space that I have now because like I don't know where this is coming from Food is such a joke. I think that's what a lot of this is. The food is so problematic in my opinion because it only heals you for like what? Like two health, three health. Like it's so dumb. Yeah, food isn't worth it. I hear there's an update that's going to make it so that you can eat it like right out the world. It's yeah. Putting it in your inventory. Which is that definitely. Might make it worth it because it's like if you come across it, you might as well. But other than that, it's just a, just a clutter. Yeah, it's a waste, and there's a lot of it. I have 10 sticks of butter, 57 blocks of cheese. What the hell am I gonna do all this shit? Make some tasty uh, mashed potatoes. Yeah, this stuff is all junk. That's what's really holding up all my weight, because you forget the food weighs so much. God, that was like 200 pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, everything that's not chemical focused is like always cheese, bread, all that shit. It's just all useless. Okay, we did a lot of stuff. I'm going to save this. And I want to shoot this gun because this was a modified Razorback and I don't know how good it is. is the Razorback, so the modified Razorback has a short barrel, but it doesn't really do much. Yeah, I'm not really interested in all that. But 
whatever. All right. Let's move on. What was... Shepherd's Puddle Exploit. Be careful if you run into those at eleven. Okay, so now should be a board here. Mission board. What do we get? Kill the outlaw. I'm just gonna do this because I wanted to do something else. I think that was it. That was the only one. Okay, let's go do this one mission. I didn't want to end it here. It was all this is all about the shepherd puddle exploit, which is fun. But like I actually want to like get out there and kick some ass and see what happens. So let's do this little side thing. This will be a little a little longer in that sense, but I'm good with it. Alright, fast travel. Dude, I'm surprised that you actually got to New Game Plus so quickly because there's so many side things that you can do. Do you feel like you skipped a lot of, like, really important things? Um... I feel like there's, there's definitely more out there, but sort of knowing the type of new game plus we kind of suspected it was going to be, I didn't mind, if that makes sense. Like, I know I did all the major, like, faction quests. I miss my dear sense. darling, and, you're and if I missed one, like, as I wonder the blackness of the deep abyss. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. I get you. I don't know why, but somehow, randomly, I just got level 18. Like, it just leveled me up, and I didn't do anything. Did you go somewhere? Yeah, I was just flying someplace. You get experience for discovering new areas. Give me back to my true love. There's some guy, the Valentine, who's singing a song, and I don't know where this is coming from or why. Like, shut the F up, dude. Oh, it's a ship. Always happy to meet a stranger. Oh, my singing was to your liking. Uh, yeah. It is, at that. If you believe the family tales, we've been merchant men and freighter captains since the days of the East India Company. East India if you like Company, my singing, huh? You should have heard my pops. Now he had a voice. The apology is mine. Sadly, my voice is more suited for the songs of long gone by. I'm afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Fair travels. That was crazy. So I just like landed somewhere, some guy was singing, and he might have been like a Freestar Ranger because it looked like that icon, I'm not sure. And he was singing, and then we just like talked briefly, and then he was all like, uh, okay, cool, like, you know, whatever, bye. And then he just like warped out of there. That was very, that was a very interesting, no mission, no nothing thing. I should have killed him. <laughs> His ship looked cool. I'm just not convinced yet that I'm ready to steal ships yet because I need to make an outpost so I can organize my stuff because I don't want everything to be bouncing around all the time and I don't know, maybe it won't be so bad, but we'll see. Why don't I just kill this guy now? Find the distress call in the system set course. Why is this out of range? I'm so close. How do you, how far away is this? So like there's, how do you get to a system that you can't, that's out of range, but it's like, it seems like it's really close to you. Like, I don't get uh, this. I'm not sure the layout of the map represents actual distance. If that makes sense. So like right now I'm in Bara, and I don't know if that's like, if that's a system or if that's just a planet, it might, maybe it's a system, I don't know. And then there's Moloch, and then there's Shari Boys, or Shari, I think it's a, an O, I can't tell if it's an O or a D. Maybe it's a D. Shari, Shari Bidis, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Find the distress call coming in the Shari Bidis system. 
Actually, maybe that's not even the, the bounty that I was looking for, so you know what? I might not even give a shit about that. Uh, Kill the outlaw gang. Okay, there we go. Yep, it was some other weird distress signal thing, but like, I'm over it now. That wasn't the mission that I was really looking for, so I don't care. JK, I'm over that. Yeah, some of these planets I have no idea how to get, how to, get to. Oh, this one's in Alpha Centauri, so... I still haven't gotten in a fight yet with the Star Eagle, so I don't know how good it'll be. The electromagnetic thing that it has, or the EM, you said that you use that a lot to disable ships so you can jump into them, right? Yeah. It does... It does mostly system Unknown damage. Vessel. Prepare to so submit like it to won't destroy the hull, it'll just, it'll just disable him. the different He's systems. He's the one that disable. helped on Old Head too. Gotcha. This is Captain Young. Please acknowledge. We have nice to see you. Been busy risking your ass for total strangers, huh? You are one of the strangest creatures I've ever met. A veritable anomaly. Do I have to? <sighs> Fine. Private Psy says hi. No more passing messages. Decora, Marines. <laughs> so. Command signed off on our unauthorized training mission. Sadly lost some men, but training accidents happened to the best of us. I stand by it. You'd make a hell of a Marine. But, uh... Damn proud to know you too. Command's shipping us off to parts unknown. But would you accept a final parting gift? It's a nice thought, but the galaxy's a big place. A lot of good people owe you their lives. Maybe one day, some of us can return the favor. Young out. Huh. I wonder if they're gonna have a DLC that, like, has, like, a new galaxy or something. And maybe that's too ambitious. Maybe not a new galaxy, but, like... I don't know. I feel like there's just so much you can do here. If you didn't give me DLC, that's totally fine. There's just a lot. There's a lot. It doesn't even matter to me. No DLC is totally acceptable. Yeah, I'm not picking up any more food after that. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? What do you want me to do now? Why is it telling me to go? I don't know, what do, you, what do you want? What did I click on that's wrong? Where do you want me to go? Oh, it's over here. Gotcha, okay. Sometimes you gotta zoom in super close to see like the mines and other things that you can land nearby. Oh, you see, this is the same exact mine again. I can already tell. All right, let's go kick the shit out of these guys really fast. Yep, it's the exact same layout. Abandoned mine every time. Gravity's here is weird. I need a diversion. Yeah, same exact layout. Those the those two mines that we talked about before that were the same. Third one is exactly the same as well.
I just don't know why that is, like how there could be three of these all the same. I think I killed him before he even... Oh, rescue axe, that's all this asshole has. There's any decent loot around this place. No. Yeah, I just gotta be careful with food, because I feel like that's that's what's so annoying is I just feel like I've so many times picked up all the food thinking like it's super useful, and then I realize like, oh shit, like it heals me two points of health. Like why that doesn't even make sense. Like why would why would why would that be a thing? And it weighs so much, but I understand you could, like, have a huge collection of food and maybe it would make a dent in your health. That's probably why they did it. But, like, I'm not going to carry that much. It takes up so much of your carry space. Just no thanks, dude. There's not a single thing in here worth taking. Not even a chest. What the hell is the point of this? see the guy who made the video where he put like 10,000 blocks of cheese into a moon crater and he threw a grenade in there and it blew up? No, but that sounds awesome. It was awesome. So there was two videos that I've seen that are really amazing. One is a guy did that and it, he stood in the thing and then he threw a grenade and he backed up a little bit just so he can get a shot of it. Every single block of cheese, all of like 10,000 or however many he dropped in there, all of them had their own individual physics that adhered to the gravity on whatever that moon was, and they all exploded out and then floated and spun around. It was almost beautiful to watch. Secondly, some guy went and did the same thing. Like, so someone, someone made a mod that allows you to get out of your ship and fly out in space, like while you're just in your suit. Have you seen that? Uh, I think I saw the post for it, but I didn't actually, like, go and read about it or anything. Okay, so it was awesome. Because apparently, even though... Even though you, um... You don't have the ability to, like, get out of your ship and do that on your own, it still set it up where... Um... Well, I'm trying to do a lockpick thing as well. It set it up where you can go out in space and still... How do I word this? This, the system is there when you're out in space that you float and your character interacts with space in a way where you can just like float out there, land on an asteroid on foot, etc. So like the system, the system is there somehow. So it looked like it looked like all the mod did was just let you like walk through the wall of your ship so that you could um, so that you could go out in space. And so some guy did that and he went out in space and he's floating around and he he took like 10,000 or not even 10,000 but like thousands or just like a ton like countless amounts of milk cartons and he put them out in space as well and it, it basically created what looked to be like a ring around a planet so it almost looked like he was floating in like the rings of Saturn but it was like milk and so he's floating in space and his character is moving around like he's in space and he's like flying in and out of like all the different cartons of milk and they're like moving and 
and pushing out of the way it was like it was really incredible to see and it's like everyone like my first thought is what everyone else said is why is this not a thing that you can do already like why can't you just get out of your ship and put like an outpost on an asteroid or why can't i just jump out of my ship and float like out in space on my own whenever i want or like stand on top of my ship in the middle of space you know what i mean or something like that because the system it works like it's it's it looks like it was designed to do that and they just like decided not to implement it somehow it's too bad because it sounds awesome it was really cool like i was like holy crap that looks really rad because it doesn't seem like it was a like a mod to do all of that stuff it was just a mod that let you go out in space and then the game did the rest and I was like, holy shit, like, that's really freaking cool that it lets you do that, flying out in space that way. It was very rad. I don't know if I dropped it in the Discord, but um, it's definitely worth searching for if you're, if you're curious, because it was really cool to see. And I'm not, I want to play the game a little bit more pure before I do any sort of mod stuff to it. But, uh, but some of these mods, man, they sound amazing. Just so you know, uh, I've really started to use that horizontal jump button. I, I'm going to play with that, too. I want to look into that. But first, I'm trying to still kill someone. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work at all. I Somehow I just didn't see him, and he just, like, popped out of nowhere. Shooting their packs, like, it seems like when you take on an enemy, if you shoot their backpack or their whatever, it, it explodes and they take off and they blow up, like, off in the distance. There's actually a tracker. That's cool. I didn't realize that it was, like, such a, a commonly encouraged thing. That's cool. Yeah, there's a statistic for how many uh, boost packs you've exploded. That's funny. Damn, there's, like, very little gravity here. I do like some of the sound effects for like the eating, the slurping. He's all like, <sighs> it's very like ASMR type stuff. sniper rifle but like a legendary version of it 
Hey, did you ever come across one? Uh, a couple of them, I think. That's cool. They're, they're out there. Ah, I want one so bad. Damn it, rescue axe. Don't want this shit. Music stopped in here for some reason. Well, I haven't used a perk yet. I need to figure out which one I want. I might have to do it for. Let's take a look and see. Um, I need to do one for unlocking stuff. Is that tech, Michael? Do you remember? Like, like if you want to use their digipix on harder stuff? Yeah, security maybe? I think it is security. Locks are increased, yeah. Expert locks, yep, that's it. Yeah, that's security. There we go. Security. Pick five locks. Bitch, I picked so many. Should be retroactive, seriously. Dude, this planet has like such, or this moon or whatever, has so little gravity that I can just jump right across the whole map so easily. It's so good. Damn it. And then it gives me a freaking expert thing that I can't take. Or I can't unlock. Bitch. It just unlocks security and it's like, oh, sorry, you can't do this. I don't like how it's like, oh, it gives you the chance to unlock expert. Like, dude, how much harder is, like, novice and whatever else that I'm messing with? You know what I mean? Like, can't be that hard. It is funny when you've knocked the guys down to like one HP because they crawl like Fortnite. Damn, he's got, he is crazy strong. Holy shit. Okay, that's not working well for me. Bitch, he was strong. He almost freaking killed me. Purple pack, though. That's the only rare here. Or the only epic, legendary, whatever. A couple of blue items, one purple. Meh. Lame. I feel like there was another enemy here that I had killed, but... here that I can get rid of. I'm not too over encumbered.
shock troop spacesuit doesn't look too bad. Yeah, this is really annoying. I hate that it's been the same exact experience three times in a row now. The gear hasn't really been all that rewarding either. Alright, let's get through this. ability is so great. I'm so happy that it's in this game. to Cheyenne. No, wait, where are we going for this one? Actually, you know what? I wonder... Hmm. So show me... The show me button just like takes you completely back to your current location, which is weird. Cheyenne. Set course. Also, I noticed that it says fuel consumption. Have you ever had to do anything where you had to, like, refuel? Interesting. Because there were... Like the other day, I went to to jump to somewhere really, really far, and um, because of how far that thing was, the ones in between, even though I'd been there, I had to make stops because I didn't have enough fuel to cross them all at one time. I'm glad there isn't. I wonder if there's like some sort of survivor mode later that requires you to eat and use fuel and all that stuff. Damn it! Still. Isn't letting me do this shit. I need to sell stuff, but it's just really not. A lot of real great I don't know why it's not resetting here. I get all kinds in here. Everyone needs supply. How about I just show? Makes you wonder though, with the shepherd puddle exploit, I'm wondering if. I'm really wondering if there's um, more to that for like other places as well. Like other other locations might have some sort of exploitable area just like just out in front of it. I'm gonna take that, toggle menu, screenshot that. All right. Oh wow, the, the photo mode like lets you move around completely. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if there's anything on the bounty board and then we'll worry about that later. I just want to see if there's anything else left. So we cleared it out. Let's see if there's anything else here. Huh. 
another one as well. Another abandoned thing. Abandoned pharmaceuticals lab. Okay, so that one's a little different. Thank God. I'm just getting really tired of that shit. Okay. So I'll do that. I think the legendary one appears every three, and then we talk to oh, this there. guy, and he gives us the Welcome third one, the I think. But all right, we're going to go and wrap it up right here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Starfield. I know that was a little uneventful at first because we were dealing with an exploit situation, but regardless, I appreciate your time nonetheless. If you enjoyed the video anyway, show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Uh, Michael, thanks again for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. You're always a, a pleasure and a joy to hang out with. Yeah, of course, it was fun. Yep. And uh, I will see you guys when we continue with more of our Starfield playthrough. We'll pick up right where we left off here. But anyway, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you guys next time.